What's up, everybody? This is Mommy Wata, and I'm back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. We are going to hop right on into it, but first, I just want to say hello and thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I do appreciate you doing so. Please continue to hit that like button, share my content if you feel inclined to do so, and don't forget to tap that bell notification button so you will be alerted when I post, okay? So, um, I had a download, but I think I just want to see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know at this time. I'm going to let that be another video. Let's just see. I've cleared my energy. So, Holy Spirit, what is it that you would like us to know at this time? What is the message for my collective, please? And thank you. Messages from the universe. What are we talking about here? Let's do one more shuffle. I feel like that 12-12 energy was very cathartic. I feel like a lot of people release some things. And they're really, truly moving forward. We have the Ten of Wands. Child, I'm trying to tell you. I was just hearing that. Feeling it. Okay? That burden that you've been carrying for so long. Somebody put some burdens down during this 12-12 portal. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Two of Wands. Making plans in a different direction. Deciding to balance your life in a different direction. To get justice once and for all because you realize what you were putting all of this effort into, it didn't serve you. And now you have an opportunity to truly balance the scales in your life because you released something that did not serve you. We have the Empress. And we have the Emperor on the bottom. And we have the two of cups behind that, okay? So I feel like an empress and an emperor both released something during this 12-12 portal that is going to allow them to establish order between the two of them and harmony. These people are going to be able to finally be at peace with, e peace with each other and form a partnership, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Ooh. <laughs> we have strength. This love has been standing the test of time, honey, okay? This, this lover's energy between this emperor and this empress, it has withstood a lot, okay? It has taken a lot of courage and strength for these people to continue to love each other to continue to choose each other, to continue to want to have a union. Like, these people done been through a lot, okay? I'm picking up on it. But they done laid them burdens down. Whatever they went through in the past, both this emperor and this empress have, have decided to let it go. What happened, though? <laughs> I want to know what, what happened, because I'm telling the tower done flew out here, child. I'm trying to tell you. The tower, tower after tower after tower. Some form of destruction always came up against this emperor and this empress in an attempt to make them stop loving each other. Okay? But they have been able to release these towers. Okay? This Ten of Wands energy. The tower talks about release. We have the hangman. They have sacrificed these burdens. Okay? I feel like at one point, this emperor and this empress felt like they had to sacrifice themselves in order to continue to love each other, which is what allowed these towers to occur. Because when you feel like that, you go outside of yourself searching for something else to be that comfort to bring harmony into your life but that's not those those energies that you go out seeking aren't designed to bring this peace to your life and they usually end up causing a tower okay i'm also getting that here 
both of these people went outside of themselves because they are each other. That's why I'm saying that, okay? That's why they can't get away from each other, and that's why they, they've been forced to release these past trans transgressions against each other because they were sacrificing themselves. They just need to sacrifice the past so that they can experience a rebirth because the hangman also talks about a rebirth so that they can move forward with this eight of wands here. I feel like both of these energies are relieved. You know, they have exhaled and shit, okay? <laughs> they are looking forward to the future, to traveling towards each other, whoever this is, okay? Page of Pentacles talks about skill, using what you've learned to make things better for you. I feel like both of these people have acquired some type of skill while they were going through this transition, trying to release these burdens. They've learned a lot here and they've learned from these burdens, okay? Both of these people then went through some shit. Clarify, please and thank you. Clarify, the fool. They took a lot of risk stepping outside of themselves to seek some type of gratification instead of looking to each other. I think, I really feel like both of them have realized that was the that was the basis of their burden. That's why they let it go. It's like, you know, we holding on to what happened between us in the past, but if we really look at it, a lot of what happened between the past was both of our faults. So we gonna keep, you know, holding this shit against ourselves because we are one. It's really giving that. They have they they have finally decided to leave the bullshit behind. Okay? The baggage, all of that crap. They have taken that shit to the dump. <laughs> we have the star with the ace of wands, child. I don't even let me tell you something. These people are so tapped into each other that they don't even realize that they be mirroring each other. They don't even fucking, these, these two people right here ain't even talking right now. Okay, I'm hearing. But they are being an inspiration to each other from a distance with this star energy. They're giving each other faith and hope that they can finally get it together and be together with this Ace of Wands. Finally start that beginning that they never got to have. This couple I'm talking about, they've never had a relationship not know people know we go together we are you know openly publicly in a commitment together not these two people i'm picking up these two people probably ain't even, never even been out in public together okay it's weird like that but yes that's the type of energy i'm picking up on this ace of wands signifies a new start something that they've never been able to have before because of them never fully committing to each other and always trying to choose other people to commit to. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. I don't tell you, I don't think these people are together. They're not together. They're not currently broke up. These two people may not have even seen each other in a long time. We have the Hierophant with the Eight of Pentacles because they they're realizing that they need to choose to invest into each other. That is, that is what they were designed for. It's that type of vibe. This is a divine couple that was brought together even before they were brought into existence type vibe. Okay? Like, that's their destiny. That's their fate. Ritual. Tradition. Wisdom. Ceremony. Okay? They, they're they designed to be committed to, an, to one another. They're designed to education twice. Knowledge. And this, this Hierophant represents knowledge. The Eight of Pentacles represents education, craft, craftsmanship, achievement, 
working hard. I feel like these people have some type of destiny together that surpasses just an intimate relationship. These two people may be some type of spiritual teachers or become spiritual teachers and they're going to help other people based off of what they went through. Because I'm telling you, these people in these towers and ha this tower and hangman energy they went through, these people learn some stuff, okay? This couple here, this divine partnership that I'm picking up on, this emperor and this empress, they have really become some type of Like with this page of pentacles, talent and skill. I was picking it up here. They're they're gonna they have an assignment together. I'm gonna just say that, and they are going to help others evolve, tap into what God placed within them, so that they can complete their purpose here on earth. That's what I'm getting. Okay. You know, it's it's a little deep. This these people right here. I'm telling you, these people ain't never been King of Wands. This man with the moon, what I'm trying to get out, but it's right here. This man ain't never been openly in no relationship or connection with this empress. Okay? If anybody has ever seen them together out in the open. It was a select group of people who knew not to repeat what they had seen. I'm hearing that. With this King of Wands to the moon, this masculine for a long time, in particular, it was this masculine. He wanted people to not know what he had going on with this woman. He wanted to appear like he was independent of any connection with her. Okay? But in the dark, these people were coming together in an intimate way. I'm picking that up. So they haven't done that in a while. Will of Fortune. But it's their destiny. It's their fate. I'm telling y'all to come together. It's like both of them, like I said, they're mirroring each other. They know that they want to be together. So what do we need to do? I got to let this bullshit from the past go. I got to let how... He or she mistreated me when we were interacting with each other because I can't get this person off my mind. I can't stop thinking about what a future would be like with this energy. I can't stop wondering what they feel like, what joy would be like with them, what a life would be like with them out in the open that I don't have to hide from whoever or whatever, okay? Okay these other outside energies that I went seeking gratification from instead of going inside myself, looking to this person who is my other half, my rib. That's this energy that I'm getting from this, okay? And I'm telling you, these people went through a lot of conflict as a result of taking this action, not choosing each other. Their refusal to choose each other caused a lot of highs and lows in their life, a lot of conflict with this Knight of Swords, a lot of competition, okay? Because I feel like these this tower energy, this tower and this hangman energy is really hitting heavy over here, okay? Couple, coupled with this Five of Wands and this Knight of Swords, you know, it's really talking about what they put themselves through as a result of not just choosing each other. And then they turned around and blamed each other for the actions that they took, the conflict that they experienced as a result. But now both of these people have elevated to the point that they realize that they are the cause of the demise that they went through. They realize that shit. Like, that's big, you know, to... Finally understand that, that maybe it's my fault. Maybe I am the reason why that happened between me and her or he and I, okay? You know, that's the vibe I'm getting here. And that's growth, honey, on a very, very extensive level. What's going to be the outcome of this, Holy Spirit? Are these people, 
we have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So now, when this man was trying to pretend like he wasn't this woman's match, that he wasn't with her, that he was single and independent of her, he has become wise. This King of Wands, his energy has elevated. He realizes that this is his divine counterpart. His intuition has, I'm telling you, these people are going to emerge once they get together and have some time together, especially when this light started flickering. These people are going to emerge as some sort of spiritual teachers. They have really tapped into their intuition to achieve this level of growth and being and and being able to release this level of burdens, this level of shit that these people done went through. Okay, they, they've really come a very long way and they're going to be able to guide others to do the same. And he knows that this level of creativity that they're going to embark upon together because these people finna put their talents, their creativity, their level of skill and their craftsmanship together to build some type of foundation that's going to teach people about spirituality, teach people about healing, teach people about growth, getting on their divine path, okay? And it's going to flow. They're going to it's going to come so naturally to these people. They probably never thought that they could come together and be so cohesive and develop what I'm picking up on. They're going to shock themselves, especially the reaction they get, because this is going to be a couple who is not going to be ashamed to tell the world what they went through to get to where they're at today or at in the future, okay? Their testimony is what is going to help them bring others to where they are. Okay, to come out of these Eight of Swords cycles, feeling trapped, frustrated, okay, experiencing ongoing anxiety because they don't know which way to go. These people are going to be a bridge over troubled water type vibe, okay? So I don't know who the hell I'm talking to. But y'all are about to come into harmony with each other, okay? You probably don't even, I'm telling you, y'all mirroring the fuck out of each other, but you don't even realize that, the, that what you're going through, the other person is going through it too, okay? You just like, I can't deal with this no more. I forgive him. I forgive her. God help me. I can't stand this pressure in my chest. What is this? Why do I still keep thinking about this person? What is it, Lord? Okay, 1818, and God is ordering their steps. They're going to come together, okay? Clarify that, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. We already see evidence, but can I get more confirmation? We have the King of Pentacles. Child, clarify this King of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. He's about to turn into some type of visionary, have success with this empress, okay? He he may already be starting to see the future and he's about to end this disconnect between them and come towards her because he sees, he's starting to see that this is his divine counterpart. I feel like the masculine is going to get in gear before the feminine is going to come to him. I feel like he's going to lead. He's going to be the visionary. We have the six of swords. He's about to move on and explore life with her. Discover what he is about to really be shocked at what he has. He's starting to see the vision between the two of them. But this masculine, this emperor is about to be shocked at what he finds when he truly discovers and gets to know this empress here. Because I'm telling you, the basis of their relationship was on some Knight of Wands.
hit it and quit it type ish. Doing it in the dark. Because he didn't want nobody to know what he was doing with this woman. Okay? But he ain't going to mind being in the light with her now. Okay? I'm telling you. He is not going to mind. You see how just that light got bright, child? He ain't going to mind being in the light with her. I'm trying to tell you. He has decided. He has awakened with this judgment energy. He done made his mind up. He has accepted that she is who she is in his life. And he going to make it right, y'all. He's accepted the truth. With this king of swords, he's about to be a, what we call a stand-up guy. That's what we used to call men who really did what they were supposed to do, bossed up, did right by their woman, made a decision, stopped being on the fence about a person that they know they loved and cared about and was supposed to be with. They became a stand-up guy. They became a king of swords. And this is what he's about to do. This masculine is about to communicate with this empress. This emperor, 2112, okay? He is about to take action. He is about to get in gear and come get his baby. And the Holy Spirit says, that's the truth. And he's going to be successful at it too. Because the ace of swords also talks about success. The, the level of success that this couple is going to achieve is like out of this world. People are going to really be very moved by the energy that exists between these two people. You're going to know what's real. You're going to know that they are balanced, that they have healed, that it's not a facade, that they're not trying to win at all costs, that they're not really still dealing with some bullshit on the side. And if anything did come up between this emperor and this empress, I feel like they would lay it to rest. They would heal from it. They would recover from it. Okay, this is the type of people we talking about here. All that three of swords energy they used to be involved with, that's over. Okay, that has come to an end with this ten of swords. That's, that's final. It has been finalized. It ain't no more of that. These people are going to go to each other, go inside themselves. You know, if they have an issue or a problem, they are way past that type of energy. Because from the very beginning, these people laid their burdens down. Because they was in the Nine of Swords. And they was tired of being in the Nine of Swords. And the Creator was like, no, you're going to continue to be in the Nine of Wands until you decide to get on your rightful path and have success with who you were designed to be with, with this cherry energy until you decide to get with your partner, get with who you know you're supposed to be with, you're going to be suffering. But when you do make that change in your life, all of your wishes will come true. And that's what's about to happen for both of these people. Not saying that none of their wishes haven't come true, but things that they couldn't even imagine that they would ever want or even be able to experience, these people are about to experience as a result of getting on their rightful path with this chariot energy here. Okay? So I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward, but always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I will be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.